What's up YouTube? This is Manuel and I'm Froyland and welcome to another video of Lifestyle and Sneakers. Today we're gonna be doing a review on this sneakers. This is part of the Fearless Pack. This, this is the Air Jordan 1 Mid by Blue the Great. So let's go! Guys, as I mentioned, this is part of the Fearless collection, and this is actually, if I'm not mistaken, the third or the fourth sneaker that the, that was released in November. So this is made by Blue the Great, which is uh, one of uh, one designer that Froyland will um, give you more details about. So this one was released last uh, November 9th of this year. It was a uh, part of the Fearless Pack, and within the Fearless Pack, there's a collection co uh, that's called the Fearless Ones. So these uh, Fearless Ones are uh, designers, graphic artists, uh, retailers mm. that collaborated with Jordan Brand on uh, the Air Jordan 1 Mid. So this is uh, the interpretation of Blue the Great. Mm -hmm. For his uh, Air Jordan One Mid, so Blue the Great is uh, mm -hmm. a visual artist. Okay. Originally from uh, Los Angeles, then he migrated to uh, Texas. Mm -hmm. Now he uses uh, a lot of primary colors for mm -hmm. his uh, paintings and graffiti. So that's why it uh, it looks. Yeah, like you it. have red, yellow, yeah. so blue, the, and green. Yeah. So the official colorway is Muslim for the this panel Muslim, here yeah. and the midsole. Uh -huh. They have varsity red. You have blue, you have uh, green, and then you have taxi. Taxi then you have, yellow. Yeah, then you have black. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's the official colorway. So, Froyla, what can you say about these sneakers? So, uh, at first, so when you look at it, it's uh, all primary colors. Actually, it looks like a... Uh, a little retro, retro. Uh, it gives you a retro vibe. Yeah, like, because of uh, this corduroy material. Corduroy okay. and the the color blocking. It's mm -hmm. uh, like a nineties, uh, late eighties, nineties yeah. vibe. Yeah. yeah. But like the, the the you know do you remember the the Puma toys RSX? Yes. It, it has the similar colors. That... So anyway, uh, Blue the Great uses some primary colors for his painting. That's why he. Uh, he did this uh, like this. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, the materials you have uh, suede here on the toe, on the toe guard, on the lace loops, on the heel and the ankle area. Then on the mid part of the shoe you have a corduroy in muslin. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the black swoosh in it is in a fluffy uh, wool material. The fluffy wool textile material that uh, reminds you of a stuffed toy or a, a tennis ball. Oh yeah, yeah. Or, or, a rug. <laughs> or a rug or a rug yeah or a carpet so carpet that. yeah and then you have the muslin or sail colorway for the midsole and you have a black rubber outsole with your typical air jordan, air jordan. Uh, so basically pack. yeah the midsole and the outsole i think for me that's one thing that uh, jordan brand should, should learn that they shouldn't mess up the midsole and the outsole yeah. because that really actually that makes the jordan one really really nice and classic for me in my opinion um, because they tried it with the, the they tried to do a the react, the the react. react and it looks horrible uh, it looks really horrible i mean of course the upper still makes a big difference but you have to stay with the classic on the on the midsole and if outsole. you're gonna do something do it on the inside yeah on the inside make it more comfortable jordan brands i think they did with the zoom yeah, with the zoom. Uh, although I didn't, I wasn't able to get a pair of the zoom. But anyway, going back to the sneakers, so that the tongue is actually your typical Air Jordan One uh, tongue, and nylon then, tongue, nylon tongue, and then. But however, this on top of the tongue, this is the tag. You can see there's a Jumpman logo with Air instead of the usual Nike Air branding. And this one is sort of what kind of material is this? This is like. Um, a thick nylon thick nylon right this is a thick nylon and then the air is actually in different colors so you the a is in 
red, the I is in green, and the R is in blue. Then you have a piping or a border on the tongue in this uh, yellow or what's the official color? The yellow? Taxi. Taxi. So yeah, the taxi yellow on the border. Now, of course, you have the fearless tag over here. So you have this blue tag with the, actually, this is like the Jordan Wings logo, yeah, right? Jordan Wings logo. And then you have fear over here. And then, of course, Michael Jordan's signature and his uh, quote uh, during his Hall of Fame speech, which is, limits like fear are often just an illusion. So yeah. Now, the Jordan brand logo is actually uh, stitched or embroidered on the side, as you can see over here. And then... You have the blue, blue the gray uh, patch here. Patch over here. So I think, what is this? Is this plastic? It's or? A, I think it's a plastic patch. Plastic or rubber patch, yeah. which is uh, actually embossed. And you can see all the colors that he basically used for the sneakers. Now, this sneakers, what I like about the Fearless collection is that it has a lot of... It, they always add at least one additional lace. Mm -hmm. And for this one, I think it's it's over here. So yeah, this one is originally nice. they have the black lace, and then it also has. And this is a sail color, right? Yeah, that's the Muslim color. Muslim or oh, Muslim color? Muslim color. Muslim, Muslim or sail? Sail, yeah. So because what I like about it is that you can customize the look of the sneakers by changing the laces and all these things. So that's what basically what I like about the Jordan uh, sneakers nowadays. Oh, the fearless is not moving. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is uh, one thing that I like about the Fierce collection. Um, you can really customize it. When I did the review on the Melody Asani Fearless, it was I was really amazed because the color blockings actually looks the same as this. Similar. But in leather. Yeah. In leather. I like the materials that they use there. Plus it has like four or five additional extra laces. So it's that it's yeah, but the, the materials they use on this one is also very good. The yeah, this is very good. I mean, premium material, premium uh, suede material. One thing though that I know I notice, and I don't know if this is a negative because since it's suede material and it's colored, I think you know what I mean. It will definitely yeah. bleed. Yeah, when it when it uh, gets wet. Yeah, or touches with something. Yeah, it's gonna bleed. Oh. I think it's gonna bleed. Similar to what happened because um, my Sakai's, mm -hmm. the, the similar color blocking as this, the yellow, blue, and the red, it actually bleeds out. Mm -hmm. So that one, yeah, I think that's gonna be a problem with this, with this uh, type of uh, quality material. I hope not. I hope not, but uh, yeah, that is uh, yeah, that is my only concern about these sneakers. But overall, the look, that's why I bought it. I mean, I, I like the color blocking because since it's a mid, it's not that high. The price is not that high. I think the price of these sneakers is only at one hundred thirty US dollars, right? The retail price. Retail price, and I actually got it um, about that same price. But of course, plus the shipping. So yeah. But I mean, it's okay. I mean, I like it. Um, I would wear this, definitely. How about you? Would you wear this kind? Uh, of? I me, know you're not a fan yeah. of the mids. Yeah. For me, uh, I don't like the mids. I like the Jordan 1 highs. I don't yeah. like the mids and the lows. Really? I like the highs. Oh, yeah. And I don't like colorful sneakers. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> so for me, uh, I won't, I won't uh, wear this one. I won't get uh, one for my own, and I won't wear this one. This one, even if I give you one. <laughs> <laughs> so if you give me one, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't be able you, to like rock this. You will just display it. Yeah, most, most likely. Yeah, but anyway, guys, that's about it. This is your Air Jordan One Mid by the Green. Green the Great. Yes. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video uh, about uh, Blue the Great. And yeah, that's about it. And if you like the video, please press the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Also, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok. Again, my name is Froyland. And this is Manuel. Until next time. Yeah.